as I'm standing here, I saw a man. Just up when you go, Zimbabwe, Zambia, you know, Malawi, this area here. I'm seeing it. Country has three letters as an acronym. I see somebody being followed that they plan to kill the men. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending from where you're watching me from. You're welcome back again to Gospel Blog. So some weeks ago, we all are aware of what happened to Donald Trump and how the esteemed man of God, Prophet Tibet Angel, prophesied about it. And all of them was staring at our face. So recently, he released another prophecy about another assassination attempt on Joseph Kabila. And today, the prophecy has come to pass. And we thank God for saving the life of this young man. Let's just watch the video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell icon for more videos. That I'm seeing his route from the area and he's moving and he goes to a place like South Africa mm -hmm. and he thinks he's safe there, but they are following him there. Mm -hmm. All he needs to do is to see Bait Bridge and cross. Hey. Oh. Hey. This is where he gets safe. Oh, yes. Mm. I'm seeing it now as I'm talking to you now. Oh, yes. Oh. Mm. They are looking for him now. Mm. This is a son of a former leader of a country. Mm. They want his head. Mm. And whosoever knows him can talk to him. Oh, yes. This is an open door. Within 10 days, I'll tell him exactly where to go. Oh. Within the next 10 days, find me. I'll tell you exactly where to go. They are looking for him now. Oh, yes. mm. And when he thinks he's safe, he's not safe. He's not. Mm. Because I saw one of his people mm. in communication with the people that are looking for him. Mm. And I'm seeing this now. This is not something I got before I came here. I'm seeing now as I'm looking at you now like this. Oh, yes. This is DRC. Mm. Ten days, sir. Ten days. You know the man, you know what I'm talking about. Mm. Call the man, tell him. He will know exactly what I'm telling you now. Mm. And he will know there is nobody, nobody mm. in any political circle who knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. He knows, he was given a hint, he knows already. Pray for him yes. so God will protect his path and so that he makes the right decision for his own life. Because yes. his life is in danger now. Mm. I see him, he's already left the place, mm. but he's in another country now. Mm. He is looking for me, not as anything, but as a prophet. Oh, yes. That's it. I have no other job anyway besides what I'm hearing now. I'm telling you now I have access to God. I'm talking about Kabila. Mm. <laughs> they plan to kill the man. Mm. I see him. He has already left the place, but he's in another country now. Breaking news out of the Democratic Republic of Congo, where the residence of former President Joseph Kabila has been attacked. A mob has breached the residence. There has been fire exchange and cars present were set on fire. Thankfully, his wife, who was president of the residence, is safe and sound. Bon, je ne sais pas estimer, ils étaient un nombre de combien, mais ils étaient très nombreux. Les images, les quelques images qui ont été prises euh, vers la fin, quand ils ont été, ils ont commencé à les maîtriser. Mais sinon, ils sont venus très nombreux. Il y a, il y a quelques images qui pourront témoigner de cette attaque. Hein. Et ils ont voulu commencer à jeter des cocktails pour d'abord brûler tous les véhicules qui se retrouvent ici à l'extérieur de la parcelle et puis avec intention de forcer le portail pour rentrer jusqu'à l'intérieur de la résidence. Et en résumé, moi je dirais que tout ceci est la conséquence de la violation du périmètre sécuritaire. And former President Kabila was not at home. Stay tuned with us for more updates on this developing story.